Simtastic for Real here, and I am back with a brand new season of The Chens. We are at uh, part number one, so this is the first part of our new season. We are doing a season two, and so all of the kids have gone off to college, and so if you saw the ending of the last part, you know that Grandma Chen is no longer with us. Uh, Landon has actually taken in little EJ. Um, they are living at Foxbury, so it's him. Uh, Malcolm and Olivia are all living at Foxbury. They're living in the townhome that I recently uh, built on my channel. Uh, Lydia and Charlotte are living at this townhome, and I had done this townhome on my channel um, a couple weeks ago. And so, uh, yeah, so they are currently living in, at Brightchester, and so I really love these um, places. Let me just jump into game here. But I really love this, like, livable lot over here because you are so close to the actual campus so it's just a really a nice little area tucked away over here and i love it because often charlotte goes jogging in the morning and so she kind of jogs around uh the campus and everything is just really really nice and um they are all signed up for school so charlotte is um she is in the history degree program at Brightchester, and Lydia is at the economics degree program. So they've done their homework. Lydia's class is at 3 p.m. today, and uh, Charlotte's class was at 8 a.m. So she's out for a little bit of a jog. I guess she got done with her jog. Um, but I want her to come home and I want her to do her homework for tomorrow as well as the day after. So that way there we can just get a jump on things and so that they can go out when it becomes the weekend. So I'm going to have her come and sit over here and then do her homework. Where is her homework? Because I put it in here. Oh my gosh, Charlotte. I put it in your... Where did she leave her homework? All right, so I ended up finding it. It was kind of over by the benches where she was sitting. So I'm gonna have her do her homework. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on this particular season. So what I was planning on doing was, um, I'm going to focus on Lydia and Charlotte for one episode. And then the next episode would be Landon, Malcolm, and Olivia. So it would kind of go back and forth between the two houses every episode. Um, and then we could uh, maybe plan like one part or something. It can kind of be split between the two. I don't really know. It depends on what's going on. If there's like a lot of stuff going on and I wanna keep track of everything, I may split between the two homes in one part. But what my thought process was is that we would focus on Lydia and Charlotte, one part, Landon, Malcolm, and Olivia, the next part, and they will meet up and like go to the local bar and stuff together but I just thought that would be a great way uh, to do this particular season where we do have uh, two different households that are going to college. So these, um, this household is going to Brightchester and then Landon's household is going to Foxbury. So, and then they could also do when the holidays come up, they can do like little parties and to get together and have like a dinner and stuff like that. Um, kind of like a Friendsgiving instead of the Harvest Fest being all family because they don't have, um, they don't have Grandma Chen anymore. However, Olivia and Malcolm still have their parents in Newcrest, so they may go home for the holidays, so it may just be Landon, Lydia, and Charlotte. Um, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So uh, what I'm going to have her do is I want her to eat something first before she goes to sleep. So I'm going to have Charlotte... Uh, make something to eat. So I'm going to have her make, uh, well, what time is it? Actually, maybe she should have a salad for, uh, dinner. Um, I'll probably have her have a garden salad for dinner. And then Lydia is now home. So, uh, and then Landon and Malcolm have actually, they also have gotten their, um, they have signed up and enrolled in university. Olivia, for some reason, I guess I just forgot to enroll her in the university. So she's she's trying to, not um, enroll, but I forgot to apply for the university for her. So she applied. So hopefully when we jump into their household, the next part, 
uh, she will have her acceptance letter and then I can pick out her uh, degree that I want her to do. So unfortunately, where we didn't really focus too much on Malcolm when he was a kid, um, he did not get any of the distinguished degrees and I really wanted him to go to Foxbury and I wanted him to be in the robotics career, but unfortunately he couldn't because, um, well not robotics, but it was like, um, like an engineer, computer engineer. And, uh, he couldn't be because, uh, his grades weren't up to, you know, or I guess, yeah, his grades weren't that great in high school. So he couldn't get a distinguished degree, unfortunately. But, um, and then he could have done the uh, computer engineer at Brightchester, but I just really wanted them to go to Foxbury. I wanted the boys and Olivia to go to Foxbury. So I was going to have Olivia move in with Charlotte and Lydia, but then I thought where Landon and her are an item that they might want to live together in college. And so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> um, Charlotte is with her sister so they have the two bedroom townhome and I may just kind of um I may upgrade the house a little bit and maybe add a basement so that they can have the ping pong table down there and like the keg thing down there so they can throw like a party um so I may do that off camera and just kind of add a basement so that they can have like a little party area and it has like a couch and a TV or something so that they can throw parties if they want to. Well, Lydia, I don't think would be really into the party, uh, like the partying scene, but I think Charlotte would really like to throw parties and get to know people, um, at school and stuff. So sorry, there's a whole lot of talking in, the, in this part, but I'm just trying to catch everyone up on what is going on. Um, because I did release the last part on Saturday and, uh, yeah, so I've been pretty excited to, to get this part going. There was just like a few logistic things that I had to do for this part to get it going, but we're all set now. And I really like this place for Charlotte and Lydia, and I wasn't trying to give anything away, but when I did the build for the, this town home and the other one, these are who I had in mind for living here. So I wasn't trying to say like, oh, it's for Landon and, you know, Lydia and Charlotte and Malcolm. But this is like, this is the house I had in mind for Lydia and Charlotte. And then the other one is who I had in mind for Malcolm and Landon. So yeah, I was trying not to give it away, but it probably did because I was like, oh, best friends or siblings. <laughs> But anyways, so Charlotte is sleeping, Lydia is doing her homework, and then she's going to probably have to come home pretty soon and eat something, and then um, maybe I'll have her go stop by the boys' house and see how they're doing and um, everything. It's going to be very difficult with Charlotte and Olivia going to two different schools because I'm not sure how that's going to, to be because I think... Um, well, I don't know if Charlotte's like super into school spirit, but I know Lydia is pretty into school and she just wants to do a really good job at college and just get really good grades. And I think Charlotte is the one that's going to maybe slack off just a little bit and do parties and things like that. Um, and I think, you know, Olivia would probably join in on that fun. <laughs> I think she's going to be really into school, Olivia, but I think she'd also like want to do some fun stuff and like party and and hang out with Landon and um and everything like that all right you guys so um I just decided to play just a tiny bit on my own uh just to get the girls to go to school and everything and Charlotte is back from class so I thought what we could do is knock on Landon and Malcolm's door and Olivia's door and see if anyone's home hopefully someone's home and not they're not all like class or something <laughs> All right, so everyone, this is their house, and I know you just saw the speed build, if you saw that, um, but yeah, this is now their house, and little EJ should be here as well, I hope, um, but Malcolm is here, and let's see where everyone is. Um, okay, so there is Landon. Where is little EJ? He should be home. Huh. Maybe he's zooming around or something somewhere. Um, hopefully we'll see him <laughs> at some point. But anyways, uh, yeah, so they have EJ here. They've got all of his toys and food and stuff. 
and Olivia is also here. So this is Landon's room down here. He's got a guitar because he's actually in the music major at uh, Foxbury. And then Malcolm, I th oh shoot, I can't remember what I put him in. And then Olivia, I'm not sure what I'll put her in either. Um, I was thinking possibly like political or um, yeah, maybe like politics or something. Or she could be like a lawyer or something. I don't know. Um, and then let me know down in the comments below if you think it will be fun to just bounce between the two houses. Um, one part we can spend with Charlotte and Lydia. And then the next part we can focus on Malcolm and Landon. Um, just let me know if that's something that uh, interests you guys to do it that way. Um, because that's what I was thinking. Uh, all right, so we'll have Charlotte come over here and get to know Malcolm a little bit. And then maybe Malcolm's gonna be like, hey, uh, Charlotte, why don't we go check out the local bar and uh, see if there's anybody there um, and go hang out for a bit. And I think Charlotte, as you saw from the last part, she does have a little bit of a crush on Malcolm. So she probably would just say, okay, yeah, sure, let's go. So I will see you guys when we get to the local bar. All right, you guys, for some reason I could not get um, meeting at the bar to work. Everyone kept leaving except for Charlotte, so it was just really weird. Um, but what I will do is, because it is 3 p.m., I do want her to join the soccer team, though, kind of. Um, but in their home, I did add a basement. I haven't added anything down there, so I'll probably just... I was just trying to configure how to add one, and I was able to do it. And I think, um, so I think what I'll do is in the next part is I will go down there and furnish it, furnish it and make it into kind of like a nice hangout place. So then they can invite people over here and stuff. I still want to kind of renovate the bar for the next part, um, just to see if I can, um, get people to stay there and for it to work. For some reason, it just really wasn't working. Uh, so I'm going to have Charlotte go and get the mail. Uh, she already went to class. She's already done her homework. So it's a Thursday. And then I think they will be going out on Friday night. They still have the maid come from Grandma's Grandma Piper's house. They may cancel that service um, because it's just a little unrealistic at college to have a maid. Uh, Charlotte, Landon, and Lydia, they split Grandma Piper's money. So the two girls, they have uh, half right now, and then Landon also has half. So um, that way there, they can put it towards uh, college and just live the experience, and they don't have to worry about possibly like having to work all the time and stuff. So I may get L Lydia a after school, like after uh I may get Lydia a little bit of a side job, maybe like the freelance career where she can do stuff on the side and just pick out gigs that she wants. I'm not sure yet, um, but I was thinking about doing that, uh, but we'll see. Uh, so Charlotte, I do want you to go get the mail and I need you to use the bathroom and then you can eat what you made last night for dinner. So yeah, it was a kind of a bummer. Everyone kept leaving and I kept asking people to hang out. Like Olivia kept just leaving and then Malcolm also kept leaving. So it was just really weird. Um, but what I might do is, uh, like I said, I'll renovate the basement down downstairs, renovate the pub and uh, see if it's a little bit better, if it can make people stay. I don't know, um, but we'll see. Uh, so Lydia has already, she has already submitted her term paper for this class, which is awesome. And then for this one, she has to study. So I may have her come home and just study a little bit. I do want to get a second computer for Charlotte, um, just so she doesn't have to keep, uh, using Lydia's. Uh, I may, I don't know. Is there any really like a lot of room up in her room? No, not really. Um... All right, so what I may do is I may configure this a little bit. Hmm. I kind of want to put, I might put her computer over here and then just add like a one tile dresser. So I may just go ahead and do that. 
All right, you guys, so I just reconfigured her room just a tiny bit. I added in a one tile dresser that came with university and then added this little desk in for her um, and a computer so she can do her schoolwork on that and submit any term paper she needs to. Um, you are home, Lydia, what are you doing? Anyways, so I think Lydia's gonna head to bed um, because she had an all nighter last night. She was trying to get her term paper out uh, tomorrow she has class she's already done homework for so that's really good and she uh, studied a little bit tonight which is awesome and then Charlotte is working on her term paper for right now and then uh, I think she's probably gonna head to bed uh, so I will catch up with you guys tomorrow after they get out of class all right, you guys, so it is after class and Charlotte, well, Lydia is still in class, but Charlotte got out of class. I actually um, signed her up to join the soccer team. I don't know how much we will do this because I do want her to start like, you know, going to pubs and stuff and meeting people. Uh, and I think soccer is like from six till 10 at night or something, six till nine. So it just doesn't give her much time to go to the bar and hang out. And it's like every day except for Sunday. So I'm not sure how long I will do it for, but I did want her to go and join the team just for a little bit because she is getting really into fitness. Lydia is in desperate need for some fun. So I'm gonna have her come home and go to the bathroom and then she can just read something. Um, because I think she's the sim that just really wants to read and make, get her fun up that way because she just does not like video gaming. So, all right, sit here, read. And then Charlotte is going to be going to soccer uh, practice pretty soon. So that will be super fun for her. And then I think what I'll do is I'll have everyone go out tonight to the local pub. Hopefully everyone will stay, but I think... Uh, Charlotte will drag Lydia when she gets home from her soccer practice and just be like, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go have fun and drink and just have a good time. Uh, so I will do that when she gets home from her soccer uh, practice. All right, you guys, so we came to the bar because uh, Charlotte actually does not have soccer practice tonight since she just joined. So she dragged Lydia out to the bar. So she's gonna get to know this girl right here, Lydia is. Um, her name is Chelsea Andrews. And uh, I did um, do a little bit of a makeover on her. She was a townie sim uh, or like a sim that was already made. Uh, by EA but I just kind of re did her look a little bit and we got this new hair with the update so this is amazing hair I really like it honestly I really love when we get new hair not like you know we don't have enough hair but I don't know I just really like it we get new ones and I really like how what they did with this one so because I haven't seen it before and I'm pretty sure it was with the update that was today so uh, I'm going to have her dis discuss interest with Chelsea, uh, get to know her just a tiny, ooh, get to know her just a tiny bit since we are um, at a new school and um, everything like that. So enthused about comedy, even though Lydia, I don't, she doesn't strike me as a funny type. She strikes me as very serious, awkward type. Oh, everyone's leaving. This always happens when we come here. It's so insane. Why does everyone leave? I guess like 8 o'clock everyone leaves and then new people come. I don't know. It's so weird. Anyways, so maybe they'll come over here and play some darts. Uh, okay. So she's already starting. Um, oh my gosh. Charlotte's getting to know that person. Sure. They're flirting. Oh my gosh, who's this person? Okay, well, we'll just, um, can we just come over and play darts with Lydia, please? This is weird. So I think Lydia is just going to try to invite that girl back, because I don't know why that is, but they always end up leaving. It's so strange. Is she leaving too? God. All right. All right, you guys. So they ended up coming up here, and they're going to play some ping pong. She... Um, we're just gonna say that Chelsea came back to the 
bar, but for some reason, I don't know what's going on. It's so strange, but yeah, so they're up here. They're gonna play some ping pong, get to know each other. And then Charlotte is down here getting to know these people down here, which is exciting. I'm um, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she'll go home and just take care of herself and be like, okay, Lydia, since you're having fun here, I'm just gonna head home. You never have a night off. So I will just leave you to it, Lydia. Um, so she's up here having a great time. All right, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this part right here. Um, Lydia did make it home from the bar last night and she just went right to bed. And Charlotte was already in bed when we got home. So, and now Charlotte is going out for a little bit of a jog. But like I said, I'm going to end this part right here. I hope you enjoyed the part. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you all in the next video.